So this question looks like a translate word problem question. I say that because of the length of the question. Typically, translate word problem questions are four or more lines long. And really, all this strategy is, or all this strategy is telling us to do, is to not read the entire question all at once, right? We want to read it a little bit at a time and definitely make sure to write down any quantitative information, any relevant information related to that quantitative information as we go. We don't want to have to come back and reread the question in order to answer it. So this question says, a study was done on the weights of different types of fish in a pond. Okay. A random sample of fish were caught and marked in order to ensure that none were weighed more than once. All right. The sample contained 150 largemouth bass. Okay, so here's our quantitative info. So 150 um, large mouth bass, of which 30% weighed more than two pounds. All right, so 30%, I'll say higher than two pounds. Which of the following conclusions is best supported by the sample data? All right, so I'm going to also write in here that 70% were under two pounds, right? It doesn't say that explicitly, but if only 30% were above two pounds, then we kind of know 70% were lower than two pounds. I'm also going to say, well, that means that, uh, and maybe this is going overkill, but just to kind of show you the information that can be extracted from questions like this. Well, if 30%, 30% of what? 30% of the 150, right? So 150 times 0.3, and that's going to be 45. So actually 45 largemouth bass are two pounds or higher, which means the remaining 105, right? Because again, 105 plus 45 gives us our 150. So the remaining 105 bass are less than two pounds. So let's try out the answer choices. Choice A, the majority of all fish in the pond weigh less than two pounds. Well, that's definitely true, right? So I like that off the bat. I would say that's very difficult for it to not be the right answer. Um, but let's try the other ones just to make sure. So choice B says the average weight of all fish in the pound is approximately two pounds. Well, that's definitely not true. Um, we see that's only like about 30% of the fish. Um, so definitely not all of the fish. So that's that's gone. And even the 30% is greater than two pounds, not exactly two pounds. So B is out. Choice C, approximately 30% of all fish in the pond weigh more than two pounds. All right, so that's a decent answer as well. The only issue with this answer, however, is um, we are told that the study takes weights of different types of fish, but the information that we were provided with here is only about the largemouth bass. So 30% of all fish in the pond? No, we can say 30% of largemouth bass are more than two pounds, but not all fish, okay? Choice D, approximately 30% of all largemouth bass in the pond weigh more than two pounds. So we could, I would like that answer as well. So this is a good reason to go through all the answer choices because initially I thought A was the best answer. Now, if I go back to A again, it says the majority of all fish in the pond weigh less than two pounds. And that's not correct at all. So I missed the fact that choice A used the words all fish. And again, my information that I was basing uh, liking that answer on is only for large mouth bass. So A is out. D is better because it gives us the value, 30%, right? More than two pounds. So that's supported by the question. And it's specific to large mouth bass, right? So that makes D the best answer here.